Kuzu Zampo La Bhutan e Learning Project welcomes everyone to this lesson. I am Sibi Mokhtan from Gedo Higher Secondary School. Today I am going to present about the area and parameter of composite shapes and trapezoid. So before I begin my lesson, I would like to outline today's objectives. Number one, after this lesson, you should be able to define or tell what is an area and what is a perimeter. Number two, you should be able to tell what is a composite shape or what are composite shapes. Number three, you should be able to break down or divide the composite shapes into shapes that can be easy for you to calculate the area and the perimeter. Next, you should be able to calculate the area and the perimeter of the trapezoid. So, please be attentive and attend the lesson carefully. To begin with, I am going to present you with a simple composite shape and how to calculate its area and perimeter. For that, let's have a look at this diagram. Now, let us look at the definition and examples of composite shapes. Composite shape, a shape or figure that can be divided into more than one of the basic shapes. Example of a composite shape, we have a diagram here. Now, if we break this composite shape into two, we get a triangle and a rectangle. Now, let's calculate the area of a rectangle first. Area of a rectangle is equal to length times breadth square units. That is equal to 7 centimeter length times 4 centimeter breadth equals to 28 square centimeter. Remember, you have to read it as 28 square centimeter. Number two, area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2 and square units. That's equal to 3 centimeter times 4 centimeter divided by 2. That's equal to 12 centimeter again divided by 2 will give you 6 square centimeter. Now, let us calculate the total area of the composite shape. So, the total area of the composite shape is the area of the rectangle plus area of the triangle. That is 28 square centimeter plus 6 square centimeter will give you 34 square centimeter. Remember, read it as 34 square centimeter. Now, let us calculate the perimeter of the shape. So, the total perimeter of the shape, the composite shape we have is equal to 4 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus 8 centimeter plus 7 centimeter will give you 28 centimeter. Now, let us also look at one more example. Determine the area of blue region in the diagram. So, we have the diagram here. The outside blue region, region is a square with side length of 6 cm and the inside, inside square is with a side length of 3 cm. Let's first calculate the area of the outer square is equal to side times side square units that is equal to 6 cm times 6 cm gives you 36 square centimeter. Number two, area of the inner square, side times side square units, that is equal to 3 centimeter times 3 centimeter gives you 9 square centimeter. Number three, the area of the blue region, area of the outer square minus area of the inner square, 36 square centimeter minus 9 square centimeter is equal to 27 square centimeter centimeter which is the area of the blue region. 
Now, let us look at the area of trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly two parallel sides, as you can see in the diagram. So, here in this diagram, A and B are parallel sides, and A and B represents the basis of the trapezoid. H represents the height of the trapezoid, which is perpendicular to the basis. And I also have an example of a isosceles trapezoid here, where the two opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Now, how to calculate the area of a trapezoid? Calculate the area of the given trapezoid. A trapezoid with 4 cm as height and base basis with 6 cm and 3 cm respectively and the other side is 5 cm. As I have give shown you in the previous example, you can break this trapezoid so that you can easily calculate the area and the perimeter of this trapezoid. So, if you break this trapezoid into two shapes, you are going to get a, a triangle and a rectangle. Number one, area of a trapezoid. We have a formula base 1 plus base 2 times height divided by 2 square units. Units can be centimeter or millimeter. That is equal to 6 centimeter base 1 plus 3 centimeter base 2 times height 4 centimeter divided by 2. That is equal to 9 centimeter times 4 centimeter divided by 2. This gives 30, 36 square centimeter divided by 2, which is equal to 18 square centimeter. This is the area of trapezoid. Now, let us also look at how to calculate breaking this trapezoid into two shapes. Number 1, area of a triangle is, is equal to base times height divided by 2 square units. That is equal to 3 centimeter times 4 centimeter divided by 2. That is equal to 12 square centimeter divided by 2 gives you 6 square centimeter. Number 2, area of a rectangle, length times breadth square units, 4 centimeter times 3 centimeter. That gives you 12 square centimeter. So, the total area of the trapezoid is equal to area of a triangle plus area of a rectangle that is equal to 6 square centimeter plus 12 square centimeter will give you 18 square centimeter. So, if you cannot calculate the area of a trapezoid directly, you can also break like this and calculate the area and combine together to get the area of the trapezoid. Now, perimeter of a trapezoid. I have a trapezoid here and we are going to calculate the perimeter, perimeter of the trapezoid. It is side plus side plus side plus side and units. It can be millimeter or centimeter. In this diagram, we have 25 centimeter plus 8 centimeter plus 15 centimeter plus 10 centimeter which equals to 58 centimeter that is the perimeter of this trapezoid. Now children for you to explore further on the area of composite shapes and trapezoid, I have some questions here for you all to explore on. So, number 1, determine the area of the blue region in the figure given below. Number 2, find the area of this regular hexagon. Number 3, number 3 is an interesting question. Your school roof is made of 4 trapezoids. Two of them have the basis of 14 meter and 6 meter respectively with 8 meter height. 
The remaining two have the bases of 12 meter and 10 meter with 6 meter height. How much roof material is needed to cover the roof? Next, I have a trapezoid here for you to find the area. Look at the trapezoid and calculate the area. Question number 4b. Calculate the perimeter of the trapezoid. You have to find area as well as the perimeter of the trapezoid. My dear children, hope you all have enjoyed with my lesson. And I hope you will explore on with the questions I have assigned. And for now, I'm going to stop here and see you in my next lesson. Thank you.